how the beam looks like on a close range use like this close range you can see the very tight hot spot then we go up to medium range you see the window you can very clearly see the window then we go down to long range okay all the way to the rooftop at the end there can i see the windows can i see identify a target right there yes i can okay so this MH25S does 1,800 lumens downrange to up to 504 meters, okay? So you can change the brightness modes here with this mode button. This is low, medium, high, all the way up to turbo. Now I'm gonna compare it with the P18. This is also 1,800 lumens, but it's a flat light, okay, watch. So close range, you can see this is superior. It's not so much of a hotspot, but more of a flat. Now if you go to medium range, this is a P18 again, you can still see the window, right all the way to long range. Can you hit the roof? No. Right, so I cannot identify a target. Alright, so this is the P18. This is a flat light. This is also 1800 lumens, look at it, close range, good tight spot. Right up to medium range, yes, I can ID the window. All the way to long range, can I see the roof? Yes, but not as sharp as the MH25S. Right, this is the MH12S. P30. This is a thousand lumens made for 600 meter beam distance. Look at how tight the spot is. Right, so immediately, no problem on the window. I can ID perfectly clear. Right, long range, of course. Even better, right? I can see exactly in the window. So you can see the difference between flood light and long range light. You know, these are meant to throw far, that's why it looks like that. This is the new P30i. Alright, this is 2000 lumens and it goes up to 1 kilometer. Alright, so how does a 1 kilometer beam look like? This is close range, the tight spot, medium range. Whoa, it almost overpowers the window actually. And of course, long range, this is gonna light up without a problem. You can even see the antennas up there. Right, this is the one kilometer beam distance P30i.